Hi, this is Tom from Never Center. Uh, I'm going to show you in this video how to use the Crop Straighten tool in CameraBag 2. I'm here in the Adjust tab and I'm going to click right here on Crop Straighten to start cropping my image. And when I first click on it, um, it'll pull up the controls for the cropping down here. I'm going to uh, mouse up to make those go away so I'm just working with my image. If I click sort of in the middle of the image somewhere, I can just drag out a crop area and uh, clicking and dragging within that I can move this around um, and uh, check it, um, try out its position in different places on my image. So I can uh, adjust these by highlighting one of the sides and, and dragging that. I can hit enter when I'm done and that will apply the crop to my image. To go back into this and to adjust my crop, um, as with all the other operations in camera bag, the cropping is a tile down here that I can always go back and adjust. So if I click on that again, it will pull back up all of my cropping tools and I can then adjust this crop differently. Hit enter again and it will do the different crop. I can hit undo to try the uh, previous crop and redo to go back to this one. Um, within the cropping tool, there's a, a basically a pop-up menu right here where I can also set a fixed aspect ratio and that's um, determines how tall an image is relative to how wide it is. So 16 by 9 aspect ratio, that's the common a uh, widescreen aspect ratio. So if you have a widescreen TV, that's sort of the, uh, the ratio of height to width that that will be at. So I can use this menu to constrain it. So when I'm on 16 by 9, um, basically if I make it wider, then it will adjust it so that it's also taller to compensate for that. So it always maintains that ratio. Um, if I hit apply, you can see that here's uh, my image in the widescreen aspect ratio. I can go back and change it to, say, square, and then any crop that I do to it will remain square. Um, one of the nice things about the cropping tool is if I, if I basically um, stretch this out so that it's uh, my cropping is not, um, is at the very edges, so it's just basically making the image square. I can save this as a favorite filter if I wanted to, you know, if I wanted to include something like, uh, say, this Lolo filter. I can save this as a favorite filter and it will both make my image square automatically and then apply this Lolo filter to it. So if I hit over to go to some of my other images, you can see um, it's keeping them all square and then applying this Lolo filter. So it's nice to be able to use this crop straighten tool just to um, to basically save an aspect ratio with your filters. Now the other part of the crop straighten tool is obviously the straighten command. If I um, slide this slider, you'll see that it basically lets me straighten, do fine tuning to uh, if my image is slightly off kilter. Um, if you want to do more um, hardcore rotations, that straighten tool only goes 30 degrees in either direction. Um, from the edit menu, I can do rotate left or rotate right to get 90 degree increments if, uh, if my image is more messed up than just a few degrees off. So that's the crop straighten tool. Uh, we hope you'll enjoy it. Let us know what you think.